When you start word to word, the system will automatically try to detect the WordNet installation. This will be used to determine part of speech for words as well as allowing access to the WordNet similarity metrics. If WordNet is not found automatically, the system will prompt you for the path to the WordNet install. If you do not have the WordNet installed, simply click through the prompts and you will be able to continue with reduced functionality. The tutorial will start when WordNet has been loaded. You can browse the tutorial with the next and previous buttons. The main program will start behind the tutorial and you can close the tutorial at any time. To return to the tutorial, select it through the Help menu. Select Tools to choose the Similarity Wizard. Here, you will be able to choose from the built-in similarity metrics. We will choose the Beagle Similarity metric. Each similarity metric will have parameter requirements specific to that algorithm. The first parameter for Beagle is the dimensionality. Enter this, set it, and then select Next. Most similarity metrics will also provide sentence cleaning tools to pre-process the data. These will be applied in the order that they are specified. In the data section, you will be able to teach the similarity metric using different data sources, whether it is a website, a file, a directory, or pasted text. Check the message box to make sure that the data was properly learned. There are many ways to select which words we are interested in. For now, we will add all of the words that the Beagle similarity metric has encountered in training. Select Add for the desired similarity metric. All of the encountered words are now available, although they are stacked on top of each other in the corner of the screen. You can move an individual node by clicking and dragging on it. You can also use a layout manager to place all of the nodes at the same time. Some of the managers will ask for more information to complete the layout. MDS, for instance, needs to know which similarity metric to rely on for arrangement. The screen can be moved by dragging and scaled by scrolling but everything can be nicely fit onto the screen using the Fit Screen Layout. Grid Layout organizes the nodes in a grid, making it easier to find any desired node. In the Connections menu, you can select how the connections between nodes are visualized. Different connection types are more or less effective for different densities and layouts of nodes. All created similarity metrics will have a control panel over on the right. Here you can modify the color, range of connections to show, and thickness of the connections. You can also minimize and rearrange the metrics if there are more than one created. The legend is shown at the bottom of this panel and will automatically update itself when you change the global options. Now we go to the word manager to add all of the words that the system knows about. It is preloaded with a set of the most frequent words from the TASA corpus. All of the connections are invisible now. This is because the system recognizes that there are too many connections to render them well in real time. Selecting Render once in the Render menu, you request that the system will produce a rendering with the connections shown. This will also render with slightly better aliasing. The Network Tools panel allows you to calculate some statistics on the connections. The Distance tab allows you to calculate the minimum distance between two words. The Discrepancy panel calculates the word similarities that are maximally different or similar between two similarity metrics. Since we only have one metric created, we will not be able to use this tool. Statistics calculates basic statistics on all similarity metrics. From the File menu, we can save our workspace. Workspaces can be saved as binary data files, CSV matrices and word pair files, and word lists. We can also save a screen capture of the primary visualization as a PNG file using the Screenshot tool. By moving one node, 
the connection rendering is removed, allowing real-time visualization of the node moving. To force full rendering always, select Render Always. The Options panel allows you to change global variables like colors. The size of the nodes is based on the frequency, which is automatically updated as the similarity metrics read words, as well as having a base count based on the tacit corpus. Scaling can be done in many different ways. Word labels can be turned on and off or highlighted. For over a node, its connections will become highlighted in the selected color. Some information on that word will also be visible in a box next to it. This is the project layout in Eclipse. A new relations in the Relation Loader constructor. Relations must extend the word relator type and must also include a wizard to facilitate setup of that relator. Thank you for using Word to Word. The source code, more information, and some example datasets are available at www.semanticpictionary.org.